Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, the Nail Magician, and I'm back with another motherfucking video. So today we'll be doing some short duct tip nails, and we'll be putting some nail art on them. So let's get to it. Now I'm just sizing the nails up with the width of the nail bed and gluing them on using the rocking method. And with this method, I place the nails downward at the edge of the nail first and then I ease upward and come back down as the glue covers the tip of the nail. I learned that this is a great way to install long lasting nail tips. Ever since I've been doing it this way, my client's nails has been lasting six weeks plus. And if y'all would like a detailed video of me prepping the nails, just let your girl know. Comment below and we gonna get them holes going for you. This is a more um, close up of how I do it. So I glue it at the edge of the nail first. I go downward. And then I just ease up and then I come back down and let it cover the whole tip of the nail. Once the glue covers the whole tip, like it's no gaps in the glue and you see it covered the tip of the nail from sidewall to sidewall, that's how you know you got the um, nail on there good, you guys. And this is me just continuing to use this method for the rest of the nails. Okay, so now it's time to cut, you guys. And remember, we're doing short nails. So I'm going in with my nail clipper, and I have the length set on two. And remember I told you guys about the magnet trick with the nail clipper. You just glue one magnet to the edge of the nail, and you could put the magnets on there, and you could determine the length of the nail with that. I think that works really good, you guys, because it cut down at least two minutes of my time. Because the nails are duck and they are pretty wide at the end, it was sort of giving me a hassle with my nail clippers. So I just went in with the scissors. They were pretty easy to cut, you guys. I purchased them from Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description below for you all. So this is how short we went, guys. And this is one of my extra long nail clients. Now it's time to blend the tips. I go in with a medium grit sanding band and file the nail to the desired shape before I go in and lay the acrylic. Also, I make sure I get up under the tip of the nails and curve it so the nails can be balanced and not so much off balance to, you know, where the nails will be uneven, where it'll be more acrylic on one side than it is on the other. And that's just what I'm going to do to the rest of the nails. Now it's acrylic time you guys because we're doing short nails I'll be using a 2B method where I place the first B in the center of the nail to create the apex So this B will be sort of thick you guys then I'll go in with the second B Which will be placed on top of the cuticle closest to the eponychium Slightly thinner than the first bead I use you guys But it will also be thick enough to add strength to the apex So today we're going to get a little creative weather, you know, because my girl going out of town. She going on the water. She going to the Bahamas. So it's going to be a little colorful. First, we're going to do the different shaded French tips. We doing the orange first. And because these are duct tip, you guys, the French was pretty hard to achieve. Like, yeah, they gave me a kind of run for my money. But I got it done, and I'm going to let y'all see how I did it.
and this is how the frenchies are looking you guys popping so we'll be doing a couple different designs on these on the orange we'll be doing the snake print or the gator print in yellow so first i go in with the base coat then i put my dots in the center and i work my way to each side And on the yellow, we'll be doing some darker green zebra print stripes. And with that, I just go left to right and do the line. Then on the baby blue, we'll be doing some orange cow print. So for those, I'm just going to go in with the cow print. And first, I like to do my bigger cow print. And then I go in where the empty spaces are and add little dots to, you know, give it design and then also fill in the spaces. And on the pink, we'll be doing the same thing we did to the orange and we'll be doing it in a light pink. Pink, because I love pink, pink, pink. And on the light purple, you guys will just be going in with the dark purple and putting some lines on there. And this is how the nails look, you guys. I went on in and added some charms to give my girl a vibe before she get on the boat. You already know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how I did. I'll be back next week to see you guys. Until then, peace!